Yes, yes. Oh. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Fine, thank you, and you? Pretty good, thank you for asking. And the rest of you? How are you doing today? Fine, fine, teacher. That's terrific. Have you been working on the platform? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Have you had any uh, inconvenient? No. No inconvenience with the platform, with an exercise or something that you didn't understand very well? No, teacher. No, teacher. No? That's no. fine. Uh, did you exercise yesterday or today use, making sentences using some or any? No. No. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. It's nice to be honest. <laughs> I know that it's, sometimes it is difficult because you have to work and there is no time. But uh, we're going to practice with a couple of exercises today. Um, so we're not going to start now. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So yesterday we were practicing this conversation. Uh, we discussed a little bit about the use of some and any. Uh, also, we, um, did we discuss the grammar focus? I don't remember very well, but uh, we can make a short review. Uh, we have count and non-count nouns, and well, we used the some and any, which are kind of quantifiers. Um, tenemos nombres contables. Básicamente, los contables decimos que son los que tienen plural. ¿verdad? Por eso tenemos aquí el ejemplo, an egg, that is singular, y él tiene su plural, eggs, right? La mayoría de veces se hacen plurales by adding s to the noun. Y some other times tenemos que agregar es, como aquí el caso de sandwich, sandwiches, right? But um, el main focus aquí es de que tenemos eh, eh, estos nombres como huevo y sandwich, que tienen su eh, forma plural, eggs and sandwiches. Nombres que no se pueden contar, no tienen un, eh, no se pluralizan en inglés, por ejemplo, la palabra bread, eh, no, no tiene plural en inglés, ni letters tampoco. Lechuga tampoco tiene plural en inglés. Eh, Decíamos, we can use any in questions y también podemos usar some. Aquí solo tenemos ejemplos con any. Do we need any eggs? Do we need any bread? En ambas estamos utilizando any para la pregunta. Pero eh, también se puede usar en eh, some. Como aquí, how about some sandwiches? Okay, so you para, can use, dígame. Para todo, para cualquier tipo de fruta o vegetal a lo que nos queramos referir. Sí, el some y any lo puede some, usar. Puede ser any. Sí, en pregunta. En pregunta okay. puede usar cualquiera de los okay. dos. Puede usar some o puede usar any. La diferencia es que en oraciones, si la oración es afirmativa, vamos a usar some. Y si es negativa, vamos a usar any. El some, acuérdense que some significa como algunos o algo de. Uh -huh. Podemos usar some con plurales y con nombres incontables, pero si vamos Usar un singular, no vamos a usar some. Uh, por ejemplo, no puedo decir, um, there is some egg. <laughs> no, 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 that is incorrect. So, si vamos a usar some, lo vamos a hacer con plurales en, en oración. Y con nombres también incontables. You can say there is some bread in the kitchen, por ejemplo. 
Any se usa solo en, en oraciones negativas. Y si se fijan acá, tenemos las preguntas. Do we need any eggs? Y para responder afirmativamente usamos some. Yes, let's get some. Y puede volver a repetir la palabra ex. Ahí está entre paréntesis porque mmm, si no la usa está bien. Y si la usa también está bien. Lo único que se sonaría repetitivo, ¿verdad? Usarla en la pregunta y también usarla en la respuesta. Es como que, do we need any ex? Yes, we need some ex. So it's like repeating the same thing. Por eso está entre paréntesis. Porque eh, lo más común es omitirla, no usarla otra vez porque ya se sabe de qué estamos hablando. Ok, y si se fijan en la respuesta negativa, se está usando don't, que es el auxiliar que usamos en presente simple para hacer negativas, y any. Ok, no, we don't need any. And also you can say, no, we don't need any eggs. And that's fine. Here we have another example. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some. Let's or, see. no, we don't need any. Okay, so do you have any question? Uh, am I clear enough? Tienen alguna pregunta? Les he explicado suficientemente claro? O quieren que me vuelva a explicar de otra manera? Usando la pizarrita, no sé. Or you're fine. Mm -hmm. Estamos bien. No, teacher. It's good. Ok, so let's practice. Vamos a practicar. Complete the conversation with some or any. Vamos a completar esta conversación usando some o any. Acuérdense que no es necesario que la escriban todas. Solo vayan escribiendo en un cuadernito la respuesta. Como aquí la primera que ya está hecha en the store. Doesn't have, como ya dije es negativa. Any. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Y así vamos a ir uh, completando. Usando some o any. Some o any. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que lo hagan en su cuaderno. Just write some or any. Leer, analizar, usar some o any.
Are you done with the exercise? You finished? Finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Well, the number one, well, the first one is already done. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Uh, what is the answer here? Some. 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 Okay. Some. And here? Some. Some. Any. Any. That any. can be some or that can be any, and it's okay. And here, no, we need to buy any. 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 Okay. Um, mm, oí some y escuché any. 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 La respuesta es some. Some. ¿Por qué? Mm -hmm. Hasta aquí llega la negación donde dice no, hay un punto. Ahora, esta es una oración afirmativa. Necesitamos comprar un poco. We need to buy some. El punto aquí me indica que aquí va a empezar una oración. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's it. Es un poco tricky. Uh -huh. Normalmente, cuando es respuesta corre, corre, así larga, es no, coma, y we don't need, y sigue la respuesta, pero ahí hay un punto. El punto indica que lo que sigue es una nueva oración. Entonces, we need to buy some. Eh, and we need... Any. Any. Some. 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 Some, porque está haciendo una afirmación. Necesitamos algunas cebollas también. We need some onions too. Uh, and here it says, oh, I don't want... Any. 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 Ahí sí es any, porque va negativa aquí. I don't want any onions. Es una oración negativa. I hate onions. Ok. Ahora sigue la conversación. Then, let's get... Some. 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 Excellent. Some celery. Uh, no, I don't want... Any. Some. Any. any. Any, 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 any está, porque negando. está negando. No, I, no quiero. I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put, vamos a ponerle some, 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 some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds off. Okay. Um, Let's check. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Let's. Let's es cuando decimos vamos. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a hacer. Eh, vamos a ponerle esto. Oraciones está, por ejemplo, put o get. Cambia. Por ejemplo, let's get o let's put. Ahí donde dice, ah, es let's que el, some Son cosas diferentes. Let's get. Uh -huh. es, vamos a, a, a agarrar o vamos a... Si el get siempre tiene que ver con obtener, pero el significado uh -huh. en sí son como dos páginas de un diccionario. Pero siempre es con obtener algo. Y let's put es vamos a poner el verbo put. Uh -huh. Pero la palabra let es como para decir uh -huh. vamos a hacer esto. Si sí, digo, let's, let's keep in silence, vamos a guardar silencio. O si digo, vamos, vamos de compras, let's go shopping. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Siempre va acompañado de un verbo aquí. Uh, any other question? Teacher, what, what the meaning of that sound awful? Esto, eso suena, um, uh, awful es como asqueroso. Uh -huh. Oh. Asqueroso, desagradable, awful. Uh -huh. Aunque las combinaciones estas no están tan mal. Apples and potatoes. Oh. What kind of difference? Es deliciosa. Sí, en Navidad se ponen de moda recetas así con yogur, manzana, oh, piña, sí, papa. Mamá. La receta de, ay, como la ensalada rusa con 
con manzana y yogur griego es rico. Sí. Se lo <risa> es de probar porque uno dice, ¿cuál? Pero cuando uno los paga, sí es rico. <risa> ya casi, ya casi. Se la sirve y se la come. Ah, cabal, hasta pasas le ponen. También la papa con, con manzana verde y semilla de marañón. Oh, God, it's delicious. <ríe> ok, uh, more vocabulary. ¿Algo otra cosita del vocabulario que no esté clara todavía? ¿No? No, no, no. Ok, lots, teacher. Ay, ¿dónde está? Lot. We, have, we have lots of potatoes. Ah, lot es como decir bastante. Lots, arriba. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. oh. ah lots of potatoes. Ajá, lots es para decir bastantes. Tenemos bastantes papas. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's practice pronunciation. Uh, let's repeat first. The store doesn't have any potato salad. The store doesn't, the store store doesn't have, have any potato, potato salad. salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Okay, okay, do we, we have, have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. No, no we need to, no, buy, we need some. to buy, buy some. We need some onions too. We need, we some, need onions. some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Oh, oh I don't I want don't any need onions. onions. I hate onions. onions. Then let's get some celery. Then, 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 let's, then, get, let's get, get some celery. celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apples in it. No, no, I, no don't, I don't, I don't, don't want, want any celery, celery in my potato salad. Let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Okay, perfect. Now, let's get in groups to practice the conversation. You can take a picture before I create the section group. Okay, ready? Ready. Ready. Okay, perfect. Are you ready? Nineteen. We're ready. Six. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Let's click join or unir so you can practice in groups. Hola. Hola. Hi. Hi. Um, Quieren Hi. hacemos una línea cada uno. Okay. Okay. Inicio. Okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Ma, Emma? Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. Con e, mayonnaise. 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 Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, we need to buy some. We need oh. some onions too. Oh, I don't. Want any onions? I have onions. Then let's get some celery. 
No, I don't want I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in, in it. Apple and potato salad, that sound up for. Hoy en my pieza? Bye. The store doesn't have, have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potato, of potato. Let's make some. Some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Onion. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in apple, it. apple in potato salad? That sounds awful. Hoy practiquen ustedes dos. Ok. Ok. Ok, comienzo, Edgar. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Will we have lots of potato? Let's make some. Ok. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apples. Como más fluido, podemos tratar de leerlo un poco más rápido. Vaya, voy a intentar, vaya. Sí, sí, hay que intentar leerlo más rápido. Vaya. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Oh, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I had onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some Apple in it. Apple in potato salad, that's some for apple. Ahora intercambiamos los roles. Mm -hmm. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes, let's make some. Onions too? Oh, I don't want any onion. I hate onions. Ten, let's get some celery. No, I don't want, want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apple in it. Apples in potato salad? That, that sounds awful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y si repetimos las palabras que nos cuestan un poquito para aprender más, si voy. Sí. A uh, Diana le cuesta dice decir mayonesa, 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 ajá, mayonesa, ajá, mayonesa, mayonesa, do we have any mayonesa, mayonesa, do we have any mayonesa, mayonesa, ajá, como la fuerza en la voz va en nis, no en a, mayonesa. Y la otra My es mm -hmm. awful. Awful, como con o, awful. 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 Yes. awful. awful. ¿Y onions? Ah, sí, onions. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Y um, la otra palabra es no, celery, es así, ¿verdad? Celery. Sí, celery. Celery. Sí. Y puy siempre se pronuncia como b o bye. 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 Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. No. Okay. Vamos a repetir nuevamente. Diana, comienza. Uh, this story doesn't have any potato salad. Uh, we'll... we... I'm sorry. Okay. Will we have lots of 
potato, let's make some. Okay, do we have any money? Otra vez, tú, Ana. Solo... Vale. Inicio ya entonces. Sí. The store, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to boil some. We need some onions too. Oh, I, I don't want any onion. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apple in it. Apples in potato salad? That's on iPhone. Vaya, ahora como. Sería quizás Ana y yo. Ok. Vaya, entonces inicie usted. Vaya. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Ok, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some on... We... Hola, mi amor. Okay, well, I see almost everybody is back again. So we're going to continue with the content. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's continue completing this conversation with some and any. I know that ya lo hicimos una vez y salió como más o menos, ¿verdad? No salieron algunas que otras, pero ahora ya con la práctica, este tiene que salir mejor. So, um, basically, it's the same thing. We're going to complete this conversation with some and any. Uh, the first thing is that, what do you want for dinner? Uh, let's make some pasta with tomato sauce. Good idea. Do we have... Uh, um, some meat, or you can say any meat. Uh, that's a question. When this question, you can use some or any, and that's okay. Um, well, we have uh, some. Some. some beef. Excellent. We have some beef, but I don't any want any meat. Any, any meat in the sauce. Some. Let's get um, some. some. Some tomatoes and onions. Vamos a dejarlo hasta ahí y lo demás lo van a hacer ustedes solitos. De aquí. Okay, do we need? And that's it.
have you finished? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, let us check. Uh, we stop here, right? Uh, let's get some tomatoes and onions. Okay, do we need... Any. Any. Any, any green peppers for the sauce? Excellent. Yes, some. let's get... Some. some peppers. Oh, and... Some. 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 some garlic too. Great. We some. have... Some. some spaghetti. So we don't any. need... Any. Any, porque dice, no necesitamos, we don't need any pasta. Yeah, but let's some, get some, yeah. let's go. Some, some bread and some, and some, 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 some cheese too. <laughs> Solo en una, oí que, <laughs> pero estuvo súper, mucho que mejor que el ejercicio anterior. Solo una, oí que fue como que hubo oh, ahí. Ok, um, let us practice pronunciation. Um, como se fijaron, esto es práctica. La primera eh, ejercicio fue así como que mm, algunas buenas, otras malas. Ahora solo escuché una porque se equivocaron. Igual la pronunciación mejoró bastante. So let's repeat. Uh, what do you want for dinner? What do you want for dinner? Let's make some pasta with tomato sauce. Let's make some pasta with tomato sauce. Good idea. Do we have any meat? Good idea. Do we have any meat? Well, we have some beef, but I don't want any meat in the sauce. Well, Let's get some tomatoes and onions. Well, we have well, some beef, beef, but I don't beef. want any meat in the sauce. In the sauce. Let's get some tomatoes and onions. Tomatoes and onions. But I... But I, but I, but I, but I don't want any tomatoes, 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 and onions. Okay, do we need any green peppers for the sauce? Okay, do we need any green peppers for the sauce? Yes, let's get some peppers. Yes. yes, let's get some peppers. Yes. Oh, let's some garlic peppers. too. Oh, some oh and some, some, some garlic. garlic. Some garlic too. Great. We Great. have some spaghetti, so we don't need any pasta. Great. Great. We have some, have some, have some spaghetti, so we don't need any pasta. Yeah, yeah but, but let's, let's get, get some, some bread, bread and... and... <laughs> and some milk in it. And some milk. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Lo corté mal. <laughs> okay. Um, ¿A dónde estaba? Okay. <laughs> Ahí está. All right. Uh, let's continue. With, uh, we have another exercise here. What do you have for breakfast? Conversation fish for breakfast. So, vamos a ver el video que está en la plataforma y luego vamos a practicar. So, we have some kind of what do you have for breakfast? And we have different um, breakfast styles around the world. And then we have a conversation. Let's see, I'm going to share my screen so you can watch the video. Conversation, no, this one. Share sound. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. 
soup, pickles, green tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, so there you go. With the vocabulary, do you have any question with that? This one is similar to the one in the platform. It's very similar. Mm -hmm. So this is the question, what do you have for breakfast? Mm -hmm. We have the most common breakfast in the United States, a typical or a traditional breakfast in the United States. It can include cereal with milk, fresh fruit, oranges, coffee. A traditional Japanese breakfast may include fish, rice, soup, pickles, and green tea. Um, traditional Mexican breakfast may include uh, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, um, sweet bread, and coffee with milk. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Sweet bread. Oh, pickles. It's um, eh, pickles in general es encurtidos. También se le llama así, se entiende bien con eh, los pepinillos. A los pepinillos se les llama pickles y a toda cosa que vaya encurtido. Pickles. Ellos consumen mucho como jengibre pero como curtido. Sweet bread. Sweet bread es el pan dulce. Sweet bread. Okay. All right. Uh, the, I think that the Mexican breakfast is the most similar to the one that we had in El Salvador. What do you have for breakfast? What do you normally have for breakfast, Linda? Um, usually um, cereal with yogurt and I'm on alguna fruta o algo. And some fruit. Okay, it's very healthy. Very healthy breakfast. <laughs> Can you ask the question to another classmate? Uh, permítame, se me fue la pregunta. <laughs> what do you have for breakfast? Pregúntele a otro compañero o compañera. What do you have for breakfast, um, Luis Carmona? Uh, I have for breakfast uh, beans, uh, fresh fruit, and coffee with milk. Nice. Okay. Continue, Luis. Ask the question to another classmate, please. Déjeme ver porque no veo a los que están. <laughs> what do you do? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have what, for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast, uh, Alejandra? I, I have usually um, bread with butter 
and coffee. Hmm, that sounds delicious. Good. Continue, Alejandra. Uh, what do you have for breakfast? Lizette. I usually have a pupusas um drink coffee. That's delicious. <laughs> okay, Lisa, continue. Um, okay, there is Emma. Diana. Okay. Um, what do you have for breakfast, eh, Gerardo? I I have eh, egg mixes with spinach, oats with almond milk, and mm -hmm. coffee. Okay, very nice. Continue, Gerardo. Eh, Estela, what do you have to breakfast? Uh, um, Olinda, what do you have to breakfast? I eat breakfast, um, como decía, um, cereal uh, with uh, yogurt. Um, um, Fruit. And fruit, um, pero I also like to eat pupusas. Ah, okay, very nice. Thank you. Um, let's continue. Fernando, what do you have for breakfast? Um, I usually eat cereal with milk, um, eggs, beans, uh, bread, and coffee with milk. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Um, let's see who else I have in here. Edgar. I have for breakfast. Usually. I usually pupusas. have. I usually have. Pupusas. Pupusas. Pupusas for breakfast. For breakfast. Okay, right. very nice. Anna? Ana, Ana, what do you what have do, for what, breakfast? What? Pregúntele, Edgar. Mm -hmm. Ana, what do you have for breakfast? Ana. Ok, a Saraí tampoco la he escuchado, creo. Pregúntele a Saraí, por favor. Saraí, what do you have for breakfast? Um, I usually breakfast el bread and coffee solamente okay and that's it very good thank you so much okay we're going to move on with the conversation remember the conversation that we had in the platform what is this one let's repeat let's have breakfast together on sunday Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really, what do you have? Really? What do you have? Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and rice soup. And soup. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for, fish for breakfast? That's, That's interesting. interesting. Fish, fish for breakfast. breakfast. That's interesting. Okay, very good. Remember that we don't pronounce the, this E. No pronunciamos esta E. We say interesting. Interesting. Okay, very nice. Let's continue. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Fish for breakfast. Sometimes we have salad too, and we always have green tea. 
Sunday we have a We always Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Well, I never I have a breakfast. breakfast. I really like to try new things. New things. Excellent. Remember, it's things. Como que fuera con Z. La T. Ajá. La T y la H suena como que vamos a hacer una Z. Things. But I like to try new things. But I like to try new things. But I like to try new things. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to practice pronunciation in groups. So I will ask you to take a picture of the conversation. Or a screenshot. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, yes. I'm going to create the groups again. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to come to my house. My family always has Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. Voy sigo yo con, empiezo con Sara. No sé quién Sara de. Si quieres tú, Liz. Okay, uh, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Luis, Luis, hola. Yo creo Luis. que tuvo problemas con la conexión. ¿Verdad? Sí, yo creo que sí. Seguimos solo nosotras. Así ah, si que sí. continuemos. Ok. Ok. okay. Eh, Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to drink. Uh, new thing. Okay, remember that word is try. 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 Uh -huh. But I like to try new things. But I like to try new things. Excellent. Ahora sería Ana con Araceli. Okay. Let's have breakfast together Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese still eat breakfast on Sunday. Japanese. Japanese, Japanese style. Japanese, Japanese style. Excellent. 
Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And my always and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Ahora comienzo yo con, ¿con quién sería? Con Araceli. Conmigo, si quieres. Ah, con Ana. Vale. Okay. Comienzo. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. Breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? What's interesting? That's interesting. Sorry. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Diana, la segunda. segunda. Uh -huh. Y yo la tercera. Okay. Nice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has in Japanese day. We have got on Sunday. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. soup. Fish for breast calf, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, so you're back again. So while we're almost done with this, um, the last thing that I wanted to tell you is that tomorrow, tomorrow we will continue um, with this topic. Um, it, we understood how to use some and any. Ya creo que el uso del some y el any les quedó super bastante claro. Eh, 
pues mañana vamos a pasar a lo que son los adverse of frequency. Los adverse of frequency nos sirven como para dar um, una, un estimado de una cantidad de veces de um, qué tan seguido hacemos algo. Entonces vamos a ver los adverse of frequency, eh, el significado y cómo usarlos. Eh, esto tiene un orden específico, right? So mañana vamos a discutir un poco de esto. So para que tengan una idea, eh, adverse of frequency, los que vamos a estar usando van a ser always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Y como pueden ver aquí, so es un, como en, si habláramos en porcentaje, yo voy a usar always para referirme a algo que hago todas las veces, el 100% del tiempo. Eh, so you can say, I always take a shower in the morning, for example. Right? I always take a shower in the morning. Usually es algo que digamos que quizás lo hace el 80% del tiempo, es como decir um, bastante seguido, casi que siempre, ¿verdad? So you can say, I usually, um, I usually uh, do my homework. <laughs> so casi siempre, ¿verdad? It's like un 80%. Often tendría siendo como un 50%, como la mitad del tiempo. Eh, eh, sometimes es algunas veces, hardly ever, casi nunca, y never es nunca, el 0%. So you can say, I never, um, I never drink coffee at night, for example. So vamos a estar hablando de rutina, de hábitos, eh, utilizando los adverbios de frecuencia y vamos a, a definir en qué orden se usan. Ok, so esto lo vamos a ver mañana. Eh, is a, I don't know if you have any question before we finish. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta antes que terminemos? ¿O no? No, ok. Ok, so thank you for joining today's section and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.